Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to run Windows 11 for free on a Mac with Apple M series processors like M1, M2, M3 and so on. On Intel based Mac computers, users can easily dual boot Windows and Mac OS using Apple's Bootcamp utility. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't support Bootcamp on Macs with an M chip processor, so you cannot dual boot Windows on your Mac. But for those who want to use Windows OS with Apple Silicon, there's another option called virtualization. To set up a virtual machine on a Mac, we'll be using a free and open source virtualization tool called UTM. UTM enables Mac users to run different operating systems on their machines without the need for dual booting or partitioning. It's quite simple to install and set up Windows 11 with UTM. You can download UTM for free from its website. After downloading, just double click the UTM disk image, then drag it to your application folder to install it. Now to install Windows 11, we need to download an ISO disk image file. As you may know, Apple M series processors are based on ARM architecture. So we need to download the ARM version of Windows 11. However, Microsoft is not yet selling Windows for ARM processors. For now, we can only download a preview version of Windows 11 for ARM by joining the Windows Insider program. I'll provide the link in the video description. From here, you can choose the Canary, Dave or Beta build. Builds released in the beta channel are much more stable than those released in the Canary or Dave channel. But Canary build gets all the newest features, so I'm gonna choose the Canary build. Confirm the product language. Then click the download button. The image size is pretty large, about 10 GB. So please wait some time depending on your internet speed. After downloading the Windows 11 ISO file, launch the UTM application. First, we need to create a virtual machine. Here, select the virtual option. It will allow you to use Apple's hypervisor virtualization framework to run ARM64 operating systems on Apple Silicon at near-native speeds. UTM supports a wide range of guest operating systems, including macOS, Windows, Linux, and other Unix-based systems. For this guide, select Windows from the list. Check the boxes next to Install Windows 10 or higher and import VHDX image. Then, select the disk image for Windows 11 that you downloaded. Also, check this box to install driver and spice tools. Next, choose the amount of memory and the number of CPU cores you want to allocate for the virtual machine. You can start with the default and change this later if required. Next, you can choose a shared directory or folder. This is essential if you want to transfer files between your Mac and the virtual machine. Finally, Name the virtual machine and click save. The virtual machine is now ready. Click the start button to boot up the virtual machine. In a couple of minutes, you should see the Windows setup screens. Choose your country and keyboard layout. The network configuration is not going to work just now. So we have to bypass the network setup screen. To do so, press shift plus fan plus F10 to launch the Windows command prompt. In the command prompt, type CD OBE. Then type bypass NRO. This tells Windows to skip the network setup for now. Hit enter and this will restart the VM.
When you get to the network screen again, you should see an option for I don't have internet. Click on it. Next, set up a user account. Then, set up your security questions and answers. After a few minutes, you will get into the Windows desktop. Congratulations! Windows 11 has been successfully installed. We are not finished yet. You have to install Spice tools that will give you access to the network and other features. UTM has already prepared this for you. Just open the file manager. Open the CD drive where the installer for the Spice tool is already mounted. Just launch the Spice Guest Tools exe file to install it. After the installation is complete, reboot your virtual machine. After rebooting, you should have access to the internet. Please remember, the performance of Windows 11 may vary depending on your Mac's hardware resources and the amount of resources you allocated for the virtual machine. If performance is critical for your use case, you will have to allocate more RAM and CPU. In my testing, Windows 11 is running smoothly and absolutely everything is working fine with just 4 GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores. Previously, I selected my Mac's download folder as the shared folder between the host and guest operating systems. By moving the file into this folder, I can easily access files on Windows 11 virtual machine from my Mac and vice versa. You can click on the UTM menu next to the Apple logo and access UTM settings and preferences from here. I recommend you leave all these at the default settings, unless you have a reason to change them. To access the settings of your virtual machine, select your VM and click the edit button in toolbar. There are lots of settings here you can tweak. For example, if you find that your VM is too slow, you can try assigning more memory and CPU cores. Have a look through the other settings. Again, you probably won't need to change any of these, but you can do so if needed. So guys, following the steps shown in this guide, you can easily set up and run Windows 11 on your Mac and explore the benefits of both operating system on a single machine. Have you tried installing Windows 11 using UTM? 
share your experience with us in the comment section below